second grade writers. How are you? It's Mrs. Finley. I'm so excited to be back and talking to you about writing. Second grade writers, we don't have to spend that much time getting ready because you know how writers workshop goes. And the very first thing that we need to think about when we're going to be writing books and true stories about our life, which is what we're going to start with, we have to come up with ideas. Okay. So where do writers get ideas for true stories about their life? Well, I was looking at some books, like Shortcut, and I was thinking maybe I could write about a time when I took a shortcut or went on an adventure. Then I was thinking about the field. I think you remember the story from last year. I could write about a time when I played a sport or played in the backyard with my friends or my family. I was thinking about the book Nuffle Bunny and how I could write about a time when I lost something. I love this new book. I don't think you've seen this one yet, but this is called The Camping Trip. And it made me think like I could write about a time I spent some time outside, either camping or hiking or taking a walk or maybe going for a bike ride. And I know you remember this one, Jabari Jumps. It got me thinking maybe I could write about a time when I felt brave. I did something that made me a little nervous, but then I did it and felt really proud of myself. So writers, second grade writers, today I want to remind you that when we're writing true stories, small moments about our lives, the very first thing that we have to do is come up with an idea. And I'm going to show you an anchor chart from first grade that'll hopefully jog your memory about writing. Here we go. Let's take a look. Hopefully this looks familiar to you. And let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit closer. So like I said, we're going to be writing stories about our lives, small moment stories or memories that we want to put down on paper and share with the world. And like I said, the very first thing that we need to do as a writer is to think of an idea. And I showed you how books can sometimes help me think of an idea. So today, right now, I want you to tap your brain and like think, like what is an idea that you could write? What is something that you remember doing that you want to get down on paper to share with the world, right? It can be something that happened to you or a thing that you do, like the time you were dancing in your house or the time you drew a really cool picture and gave it to somebody that you love, right? Give me a thumbs up if you've got your idea. Most of us do, right? So remember that we learned in first grade, the next step is to plan our writing. I don't want to just grab my pencil and start writing everything down because then I'll probably just write my whole story on that first page. So I want to really plan my story and I want to touch and tell my story across the pages. So watch how I do that. I'm thinking, hmm, the story that I want to tell, let me zoom out a little bit for you. So the story that I think I want to write down today about my life is the time when pretty recently I went bike riding with Harrison and Kyle and I did a lot of bike riding these last few months and and on our bike ride I wasn't paying attention all that much and I was behind Harrison and Harrison was in front of me and he fell on his bike and because I wasn't paying attention I kind of ran a shoulder over and I felt horrible about it. So I don't know why, but I think I want to write that story. So I have my idea. And the next thing I have to do is touch and tell across the pages. On this page, I think maybe I'll sketch us riding along on the bike. And I'm going to write about um, how maybe I was looking over at the woods and not really paying attention very much to riding and just kind of feeling like, calm and relaxed and riding my bike. And then on this page, I'm gonna have Harrison falling down and me turning real quick and slamming on my brakes and eek, screeching and crashing into Harrison and having him be really sad. And then on this page, I think I'll show him like limping over to the bench. We walked off the bike path and got on the bench and we sat down and he was really sad and I gave him a hug and said how sorry I was. So just see how I did that? I have my idea, I touch and told across the pages, and now I'm ready to write my stories. Writers, 
i can't wait to see what stories you come up with today. have a great writing.